Hey YouTubers, I'm going to do a comparison of the LG V30 versus LG V20 in case you happen to be considering um, getting an LG V30, which I am. I own the V20. Um, if you look for, I'll probably have a link down below, or if you possibly um, just hit my name there and then videos, you'll see the other videos and it should be right around this one where I do an actual um, review of the phone um, then I've also got a comparison of the V20 to the LG Stylo 4 um, I go through a lot of phones here for reviews and uh, for personal choice uh, to use um, I get excited about this technology and uh, you know obviously if you're looking for one of these phones you are excited about the technology as well you're not somebody that you know is happy with a uh, standard little four and a half inch five inch screen you want something bigger brighter and more fun to play with all right so my experience so far with the LG V20 is I've been I've been pretty happy with the size um, the screen is 5.7 inches. It's got a second screen on it, which is cool and not so cool. Um, you could be watching a movie and you've got this thing on the side telling you what time it is. So some aspects that's good. Some aspects it takes away from having the whole movie on there. There's a setting in there that you can shut that second screen off, um, just so you know. In uh, the resolution is pretty friggin awesome 1440 by 2560 you will not complain about that so here's two points where we go with the next phone display size is six inches so just a little bit bigger 0.3 inches is not very big difference but uh, still um, and then the resolution gets even better so it goes to 1440 by 2880 pixels and the nice thing about that is that pixel density is even greater so as you're looking at that you're like whoa you know that is pretty awesome so the weight I personally weighed the one on the right uh, I believe I weighed it at 6.1 ounces and the new V30 is lighter I think it even has it on here somewhere maybe not Maybe these guys don't have the weight, but it's, I think it's about 5.6, 5.8 ounces. So it's a little lighter, which is nice. Bigger screen. A lot of this stuff is the same. Um, I honestly thought I had a 120 degree uh, camera on mine. I'll have to double check that. This makes it sound like the V30 has the um, 120 degrees. So that's really nice for uh, a lot of stuff. I mean, Honestly, you can get that much more in your photos with a, with 120 degrees. It might make them look a little different, but still. And at least uh, if that's on the selfie camera, that's really good. Now, video recording. Uh, I love my B20 for video recording. Check out some of the videos on this channel of me doing recordings with it. Um, I've been trying to get this hummingbird with it because I think it will uh, it's going to provide some really awesome photos uh, that I can get when it actually flies up and checks us out uh, I've been using a Panasonic FZ80 shameless plug for it um, on a lot of my videos and that has awesome resolution awesome video but it's pretty hard to find a freaking uh, hummingbird flying around you so uh, it's you know it's got its positives and negatives now the v30 enables you to have 60 frames per second of 4k versus the 30 frames that I would get from my v20 that's gonna be awesome especially filming a hummingbird because I can slow it down a little bit um, and still get a pretty good picture ideally you'd probably be shooting 120 240 whatever uh, so you really slow down those hummingbird wings but you know this talks about HDR I'm pretty sure there's a setting in there for HDR on the V20 so I'm not sure that's an improvement 
Uh, so like I said, there's a few mistakes in, in these guys' comparisons. The uh, front camera, five megapixels, it takes pretty good uh, selfie photos. So I don't, I don't think you'll be disappointed there. And now I see the weight. Uh, they say 5.57, and then they say the average is 5.8. So wow, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Um, how can you say it? You know, average when you've got 5.57. It's it's bloated. The phone is bloated, and they're backwards. Well. They're pretty much right on the money with the uh, the V20, which isn't the right comb. Dimensions-wise, surprisingly, the V20 is actually a bigger phone. So they've went more of a zero border with it. Here's what's really impressive is the V30 is water dust shock resistant. So where my V20 is only shock resistant, they've added all that other stuff. So pretty cool. Both have the fingerprint um, biometrics, which is really freaking cool. But then they add facial recognition. Um, I look forward to having a facial recognition one so I can take a picture, print out a photo of myself, and see you know if it will recognize me. And as far as the processors go, they've up, up the ante there, which is pretty cool. So this thing is going to... Um, really kick ass out the out the box look for some improvements there internal storage it's the same that is a great number actually 64 I'd be happy with 128 but 64 is definitely uh, gets it done for from what I've seen I don't get those messages oh you're out of disk storage which is really annoying they've improved the talk time supposedly um, now, now I've had this battery for a while. It does not last like it did in the beginning. I used to love the battery life. Now I'm like, uh, gotta charge it again. And really, that's about it. Um, you know, sharp looking phones. They look the LG V30 and V20 um, kind of look like some honestly older um, cell phones that are just massive. So, but they have their own style to them, or the V20 does. The V30 looks a lot more like the other one, other phones out there now, including uh, from this picture. It kind of looks like the Stylo 4. But uh, all right, that's all I have for this video. Thanks for checking it out.